Hi, I'm Steve Ansell. Um, I'm a professor of medicine at uh, Mayo Clinic. I am uh, one of the um, folks that are interested in research related to uh, Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. Uh, I became interested in Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia just in beginning to interact with patients that have the disease. I've always been very interested in different diseases that have to do with B-cell malign uh, B-cell uh, processes, so I've been very interested in different types of lymphoma and in Hodgkin lymphoma. But as I began to interact more with patients that had Waldenstrom's macroglobulin macroglobulinemia, the uniqueness of the disease was something that I became more and more interested in. I then began to interact with the uh, IWMF, and as I did that, um, I learned uh, a lot more about what they stand for, and they were gracious enough to give me some funding uh, that allowed me to really focus on some of the research that I've been doing. So all told, I've really found it to be an exciting interaction with patients with Waldenstrom's and with the IWMF, and together I think that's been a good team. Uh, these are exciting times right now for Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. I think in the past, this had been a little bit of an orphan disease with only a few people interested uh, in the disease, but over time, more and more people have become engaged and researchers really move forward in leaps and bounds. And I think the things that are extremely exciting right now is that new drugs are being uh, developed that specifically target some of the important pathways in Waldenstrom's macroglobulin anemia. And there are new um, blocking antibodies that have interactions with the microenvironment or the bone marrow uh, environment that again are really promising uh, approaches for the future. So at this time, I think the future is really bright for Waldenstrom's macroglobulin anemia. I think that there are uh, opportunities for very good outcomes for patients. Patients are doing better and better with the disease. And we're looking to a not too distant uh, time where we can potentially cure the disease. So these are exciting times. And again, I'm very grateful for the interactions I've had with the IWMF and for their support of research.